everybody, welcome back. A couple days ago, I saw Jenna Marbles make Jenna and Julian's favorite soup. So Rebecca and I thought that looked really good and we're gonna try and make it tonight as well. As you just saw, we had our pizza, which means that we're fueled up and ready to cook because if you don't eat before you cook, then you'll just give up halfway through and go out to eat. Um, after we ate, I got everything out. start chopping and cooking and all that other stuff. This tofu doesn't fit. It doesn't normally look like this, but this is really good tofu and it's super firm anyway, so I'm not really too worried about pressing it. Alright, so the first step is to heat. Uh, first step is to heat vegetable oil in the pan. And, and then cook ginger and garlic, which you're supposed to have fresh, but we have like a jar of minced garlic. That's ginger. Oh, ginger. We only have these two little fresh garlic. I was gonna say, it just says to use vegetable oil, but I decided to use sesame oil because I think it'll be more flavorful. Look how weird this ginger looks in the oil. Need to add more of this garlic. That's for making the gin and julian style, just another one. How much did it call for? A tablespoon. And then the next thing is to add eight cups of veggie broth but we just have veggie stock or like a little goopy stuff. So I'll just do eight cups of water and then I'll put however much of that stuff in there. It makes eight cups of veggie broth. Spin. Okay, so the broth is ready, and now it's time to cut these mushrooms. Tofu. So I was gonna show how I could cut my tofu into perfect squares instead of rectangles. Uh, obviously that's not working. Like what is this? And this! So this is the bok choy, which I don't think I've ever cooked with bok choy before. Actually, to me, bok choy is one of those things that you see Asian ladies checking out with at the grocery store. You just wonder, like, what are they doing with all those weird vegetables? I guess they're making Jen and Julian's favorite soup. And now I'm dealing with this tiny cutting board, because our big cutting board was in the dishwasher, and I thought, I'll use the clean one. But I've already gotten five other things out of the dishwasher. I might as well have had a decent sized cutting board. Uh, 
Zeppelin sit. Shake. High five. Good girl. Sit. No, sit up. Come here. I don't really know how you're supposed to get the tofu browned on every side. In their video, Jenna did a pretty good job, but I am not doing so well. Alright, time to add the bok choy. Okay, so the bok choy cooked for a little bit, and now it's time to add vinegar. Chili paste. The bottle's squishy enough. Oh, but then it all falls out. Then soy sauce. Sugar. So now it's a quarter cup of water. Two tablespoons. Go into the soup. Trying, okay? You hurt his feelings. He's so alone. There you go. Um, now I think I'm supposed to remove the soup from the heat. It smells good. Woo! It smells like an Asian restaurant. It smells really good. Soup smells really good. It's too bad I just ate half of a frozen pizza. <laughs> that was like five, four or five hours ago. Oh yeah, it's 10 p.m. now. <laughs> okay, so now the next step is for me to go back and watch Jenna's video and figure out if I'm supposed to use the white part or the green part of the scallions. Bok choy, cilantro, scallion. Wait, what's that? This is the green part. Is there a good way to do this? All right, let's do it. That's it. We're done. I think. Woo, smell it. Come smell it. Smells good. Smells very good. Okay, pause. 
He's still recording me. <coughs> I'd make this two nights in a row too. <coughs> it's just making me cough. Yeah, it's making both of us cough. It really gets you in the back of the throat. <coughs> There's no warning. We may be having dinner at 10.30 at night, but this soup is worth it. A plus is right. It's really good. I'm trying to do an outro. <coughs> Okay, so the soup's delicious, but that's it for today. Thank you to Jenna Marbles for the recipe. I will link to her video below. I will link to the recipe below. Uh, we will definitely be making this again, but I'm gonna go now so that I can enjoy eating it and then go to bed because it's 10.30 at night. If you like this, we'll do something like it again. If you didn't like it, then we'll probably still do something like it again because I'll need to make a video. Well, I got all these little bowls out because I was gonna be all fancy and chop everything up first and then mix everything together and make it look like I was really good at cooking. But then as soon as the camera turned on, I just kind of spazzed out and started cutting things, uh, which is maybe not the best thing to do when a camera turns on. I would say overall, actually, if I wasn't trying to record it at the same time as making it, it's a pretty simple recipe too, which makes it like double plus good. Um, any other thoughts on it? Oh, she's joining me! <laughs> Oh, baby, well, come back. Just pretend you were... Oh, okay. And let's see what else I was thinking. Oh. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Isn't Scott so cute? Please like, comment, share, subscribe to his channel so you can see all his good videos. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, This is really good soup. It's yummy. Spicy, but delicious. I liked it. Bye. Bye.